Hello, we're back on YouTube. It's Mark Lohr, your superintendent, for a Monday, April the 12th, 2021, and it's good to be back. We welcome our students back, and we welcome you back to our daily video updates as well as auto dialer calls. We have one positive COVID case uh, today. Uh, this is a student at Niagara Falls High School. That student has not been in school since March 23rd, so contact tracing led to no quarantining. Uh, we wish the student a speedy recovery. Niagara Falls High School students, are you on top of your scholarship applications? Did you complete the Common app, which is due April 23rd? Did you play in the Whirlpool Park Little League, soccer or baseball? Fill out that scholarship application. And our Kiwanis Club uh, annually gives away about $14,000 in scholarship money. That scholarship closes on May 15th, so that date is approaching Take advantage, Niagara Falls High School seniors. This is the last week of grades for gr students in 7th through 12th grade. They close on Friday with a report card mailing at the end of the month. Uh, we have a webinar uh, this evening for staff. If you're watching this before 7 o'clock, there is no repair day for technology tomorrow, Tuesday the 13th. Our tech associates will be busy with another matter, so the repair day this week will only be Friday. Our offer of free Wi-Fi stands. It will be up on the website through Wednesday, the 14th. It is legitimate, it is two years. You click on our webpage, you click on the link, and you sign up for it. We'll, get, uh, we'll work with the company and the State Ed Department, and you'll have Wi-Fi through 2023. There's a lot of uh, information out there about uh, moving from six feet to three feet of social distancing. Uh, we will take the next two weeks to have a public information campaign about that. It starts with talking to our Board of Education, our teachers, our administrators, and then our community. We're planning a public forum where you can call in and ask questions after we present it next week. More information will be forthcoming. Right now, that only applies to elementary school students. The students in grades 7 through 12 don't qualify for lesser or fewer feet of social distancing, I should say, because of the high transmission rate in our county. Um, we thank everybody, including Dr. Joe, for the morning survey. Please make sure you fill it out each and every day. Uh, we appreciate that. If you live near the True Bethel Church, which is down by Harry Abbott School, and you're in that area, and you're over 16, and you need a vaccination, this Wednesday, Pastor Pridgen and the True Bethel will have vaccinations. They have a number of uh, dosages left. Call 286-8115. They're trying to service the neighborhood around their church. And that, again, is close to Harry Abbott School if you don't know where it's located. But call that number, 286-8115, if you need a vaccination. And I know they will help you out. Uh, I'm going to give a couple more announcements here today. Physical, sports physicals for baseball and softball, all the way through modified, track, girls lacrosse, boys tennis. They are the 20th and 27th, the physicals are 2860788. And beginning tomorrow, I'm gonna to start talking to you about the required New York State assessments. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll give you a, a breakdown of how we're gonna do that. Tons of information. Welcome back, we're glad you're back. Keep wearing those face masks or face coverings. Stay socially distant, wash your hands with soap and water. We are glad you're back and with us. Let's have a strong, strong finish to the end of today and this week. Take care.